So now we've looked at all five patterns. We're gonna take pattern number one and pattern number four as our foundation. And we're gonna expand those. And in order to expand those, we're gonna pull from the pattern behind it and the pattern above it in order to play all of the notes on the pentatonic up and down the neck of the guitar with our first and third fingers. And they're gonna be centrally located and built around two of the five patterns. So in the key of E, I can't pull from anything behind it because that's the end of the guitar. So here's pattern number one. Now I'm gonna shift and play from pattern number two, okay? Now let's hit pause there for a minute because I think it can be confusing to start looking at this down here. So let's shift and look at our pattern number four and look at our pattern number one up here first where you can see the full expansion accessing the first and third fingers, all right? So let's just jump an octave higher and look at pattern number one up here. Now, I don't wanna use my first and fourth, I wanna use my first and third. So I'll move that note down here. I'll move those two notes up here. So I'm gonna end up grabbing a little box from my fifth pattern, play the majority of my first pattern, and then grab a little box from the second pattern. So it's gonna look like this. Here's my root, root six, minor pentatonic. That's from my fifth pattern. First pattern. Second pattern. I'm gonna take this first pattern and expand it and it'll look like this. So what I've done is I've pulled this little box from pattern number five. And I'm attaching it to pattern number one. All right, then I wanna stay true to using my first and third fingers. I'm gonna move up and this comes from my second pattern. I'm just gonna use that much of it. So, for my second pattern, first pattern, fifth pattern. There's the root. A lot of flexibility, a lot of power, as much speed as you need. And speed's a great thing to have access to, but playing lead isn't about being fast. Uh, that's part of the conversation. You can play fast when it's appropriate, but I remember when my teacher looked me square in the eyes and said, Kelly, I could do more with one note than you may ever figure out because I was at that stage to where I just wanted to play every note that I could, do everything, you know? And that, it's like somebody that talks too much. <laughs> it's like, what needs to be said? What needs to be played? The most important thing is that you make people feel. If you don't feel it, nobody feels it. We've got three chords, five notes, and the truth, all right? So that's pattern number one, expanded, pulling bits and pieces, pattern number five below it, and pattern number two above it. So now we've taken what I call my root six minor pentatonic in its basic form, 
and expanded it. And I can play this much of the neck of the guitar using my first and third fingers only. I can move this down to where the neck's cut off so I can only play my first position and move into my second position on these higher three strings in order to mimic what I did up here. So it'll look like this. And as I expand upward, I'm gonna pull a section out of pattern number two. Now, a lot of blues is played down here. Um, Okay, so uh, a whole lot of mileage comes out of this neck of the guitar. All right, so that's root six here and an octave higher here. We've used this much of the neck and we've used this much of the neck. Now let's see what happens in between. So in pattern number four, which I call my root five, minor pentatonic. I'm gonna move these two notes down here. I'm gonna move this note up here. So of my fourth pattern, I'll be taking a section below from pattern three and a section above from pattern five. So here's again my basic E minor pentatonic. And when it's expanded, from section three, section four, section five. Thank <laughs> you. 